Hi, my name is Dylan, and for the last four years or so, I have been a landscape and adventure photographer in the southeastern region of the United States. And because of this, people ask me all the time, what type of camera do I shoot with, or what type of camera would I recommend them to purchase? And almost always, I recommend them to get a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, basically a camera with interchangeable lenses, and also, just as importantly, something with a decent sized sensor. My D750 and a couple lenses that I shoot with is worth several, several hundred dollars that most people just getting into this type of work probably won't be able to afford. However, is this really necessary in order to take professional photos? So with that, I challenge myself to take $5 and a couple AA batteries and go to a local thrift store and try to get a digital camera for $5 or less that could take professional photos or could be manipulated to take professional photos because after all it's all about the photographer and not the camera if we all are led to believe this so this is how it went this is stop number one this is SOS thrift store and uh, I just they're gonna have something in here that puts my D750 to shame I just I know it definitely In terms of our ability to go camping, yeah. we don't have to defecate in the woods any longer. <laughs> oh, Nolan, if you sit on that, you're gonna get a disease. The amount of desire in my heart to run out in that right now is approximately zero, yes. So I guess we're trapped in here until the rain subsides. We're trapped in here with nothing else interesting to look at. There is clothes. There are clothes, so we, yeah. We can try to find the most ridiculous thing that they have. All right, let's go find it. Uh, I think we might have a contender for the worst article of clothing in here. This this is one of the ugliest shirts I've ever seen. This... That's the worst collar I've seen in my life. It literally looks like something the Sith would wear. <laughs> the Sith? Maybe a pilgrim? Okay. All right. You you have to appreciate the craftsmanship on this. They made this look like a sweater vest. It's not a sweater vest. Because <laughs> it has a sleeve. It has a, <laughs> it sleeves. I think this is probably the worst shirt that we found. All right, we found our winner. Good job, Nolan. A good find. <laughs> or no, uh, 5.30, 8, 5.30. And uh, it's starting to rain, but um, the good thing about buying a really high-end professional uh, mirrorless camera <laughs> is that they're weather sealed. So we can just shoot outside with this thing all day long and uh, she's, she's just gonna keep uh, keep banging them out all day. I mean, this Canon A5.30. This thing is gonna be great, um, and it's gonna be all the camera we need, but this is a thrift store that also sells cars, so we're gonna see what we got here. Um, we have a 97 Explorer for $800. It has a light engine noise, however. You, oh, good tires, actually, uh, but I guarantee you that will leave you on the side of the road. Um, we got an O2, um, uh, we have an O3. <laughs> Acura something or other. I'm really bad at identifying old economy cars. I don't know what any of these things are. Member of the, member information, of the society. information Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. We may have skimped on the quality of the camera, but we in no means have skimped on our location for today or our talent. So what we're gonna be doing now is attempting to take, first of all, landscape photos with our Canon A5300, this piece of junk. 
and then also take pictures uh, of people, do some portraiture, um, and I'm gonna be using some digital techniques in order to get the best out of this camera, and hopefully it will go well. All right, so this camera has issues with the battery, so you kind of have to shake it sometimes to get it to, to function. Basically, we're, we're gonna set our, our uh, aperture as low as we can get here, and, uh, and basically overexpose just a little bit. Why? Because the shadows are gonna look pretty nasty either way, so. And yeah, Peyton's giving us a really awesome expression here. There you go. And uh, Peyton, can you look at Dalen over there? Yeah, that's perfect. And actually, since we have it, I'm gonna use my viewfinder. Bring your chin up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with what we're getting. Uh, now just the real question will be, can we make these photos look decent enough for Instagram? I think we can. I think that's gonna be the, the ultimate uh, result of this challenge is to see whether or not I'm actually willing to post any of these to Instagram. So I'm happy with what we got. Thank you, Peyton. You've been wonderful. Uh, and now, on to the landscape part of the challenge. Alright, composition is key, especially when you're using this hunk of junk. Um, so, I've carefully arranged myself, and the good thing is, is happy, having an optical viewfinder means that you can, in fact, compose without even turning on the camera. That's that's a huge feature. That's worth five dollars alone. Um, so, and I'm using a, a, a portrait orientation, and I'm going to be bracketing my shots. But I'm not using a bracketing mode because there is no bracketing mode. Basically, I'm going to fire one that's a couple stops overexposed, and then increase the shutter speed, and basically incrementally take a couple pictures at a time, with the exposure slowly and progressively dropping. Um, and then in Lightroom, I'll do an HDR merge and put them all together. Um, and that'll also average the shots together, so that'll reduce noise and also give us detail in all layers of the image. Um, with my D750, I'm not even gonna take a shot because I know how it's going to look. Um, with 14 and a half stops of dynamic range, it doesn't matter, I can just, I can get it all in one frame. But with this guy, we're gonna have to bracket a lot. Was that like one stop of dynamic range? Uh, I, probably less than that, maybe half a stop. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna bounce through these images and we'll see what we get. And there you have it. So after shooting with this for uh, for a couple days, for well, basically just for one one solid shoot out in nature, uh, what are my thoughts? Well, I ended up getting three photos that I'm really quite pleased with. Uh, two shots, portrait photos of Peyton. Those are probably my favorite ones. Uh, here they are now. Um, and also the one landscape photo I had, I'm actually really quite pleased with like the image detail the amount of noise in the shot. Uh, bracketing with HDR really actually significantly improved the overall image quality of, of the frame. Um, and I basically left it at its widest zoom length, which was uh, a, a roughly equivalent to 35 millimeter. And uh, basically the only complaint I have with that landscape shot is the fact that it's just, it's not a very interesting frame. Um, and most of that has to do with the fact that the light wasn't awesome for landscape photos to begin with. But we, we did what we could, and one thing I'd mention is that I also went ahead and I did post one of the photos of Peyton to Instagram, and you can look at it in my feed. It really doesn't look out of place, per se. If you, you know, obviously if you look at it closely, you're gonna notice a quality difference between it and the shot, uh, the other shots I've taken with my D750. But in terms of light, mood, image, the files edit pretty, pretty much the same way any other files do, and you can make it work for Instagram. So there you go. Um, that's pretty much proof that you can take a $5 camera from a thrift store and take good photos with it. Um, it really is about the photographer, not about the camera. So that concludes the, uh, the cheap $5 thrift store camera challenge. Uh, it's actually been kind of a pleasure to shoot with the PowerShot A530. 
over time I've actually become a little bit attached to this guy and who knows maybe in, in a couple years I'll actually end up passing this down to my very own children so but uh, at least for now looks like judging by the clouds it's gonna rain so Nolan we should probably get out of here pretty quickly